plenty going on in this week's weather for the week ahead. It's going to get warmer, it's going to get wetter, and things could get a bit lively as we head into the weekend. Before that, though, we've got a bit of a fight going on. This is the big picture. High pressure sitting to the east, low pressure sitting to the west. And slowly but surely, the low pressure and the weather fronts will win out, pushing away the area of high pressure and bringing some spells of rain. Before we have low pressure systems and weather fronts coming in from the Atlantic in a more typical fashion by the time we get to the weekend. Why the switch? Well, if we rewind and take a look at what's going on high in the atmosphere, where the, the jet stream is, you can see it's in this amplified pattern, this north-south pattern. And that will continue for the next couple of days. That's why our weather is fairly slow moving for now. But as we head towards the end of the weekend, into the weekend, the jet really gets going and powering in from uh, west to east in a, a, more, a more classic setup, if you like, and that will generate some areas of low pressure. But that's a few days off. Let's come back to the here and now and take a look at what's going on for our weather closer to the ground. And with the high pressure sitting to the east of us on Tuesday and low pressure sitting to the west, that means the air is going to be drawing up from the south. That is why it's turning warmer. Temperatures on Tuesday widely into the uh, mid to high teens across the south. 17, 18 degrees, and particularly places to the north of hills, like to see some high temperatures of parts of North Wales, even parts of uh, northern Scotland could see those temperatures in the mid to high teens as well. It's going to be mild, but it's not necessarily going to be sunny. Quite a lot of clouds swarming over the UK to start on Tuesday. Some sunny skies across the far north, actually quite a chilly start here, but then with the help of those southerly winds, the afternoon will be a lot milder. And in the south, it should get a little brighter as the day goes on. The cloud will tend to thin a little after a misty, murky start, a brighter afternoon. Most places dry, but there will be some drizzle around, especially early on. And come the afternoon, the threat of some showers coming into the southwest and the west of Northern Ireland also. That's from a couple of weather fronts pushing northwards. This is the big picture then as we go into Tuesday night and Wednesday. The high is still there, but it is pulling away. The weather fronts are slowly, slowly creeping in. And um, just to the south of this one, in fact, some really quite warm air. So yes, it's mild on Tuesday, but it's gonna get warmer still through Tuesday night and into Wednesday, and that warmer air wafting its way north. These weather fronts, though, are introducing the moisture and the outbreaks of rain as well. But the overnight temperatures, as we head into Wednesday morning, significantly above the average for the time of year, three to six degrees, and in some places, even higher than that. So yes, a very mild start to Wednesday, but again, it's not gonna be sunny. In fact, it's quite a gray day. Those weather fronts providing outbreaks of rain, pulses of rain tracking northwards, the brighter colors suggesting some pretty heavy downpours. Bit early to pin down details, but the east of Northern Ireland, Wales, northwest England and eastern Scotland, that zone is the area most at risk for some heavier downpours. Probably not too much in western Scotland and in fact, much of eastern England for most of the day will be dry. It will be predominantly cloudy and a fairly brisk wind blowing at times as well. But again, that wind is wafting up the warm air. So look at the numbers. Temperatures 20, maybe 21 if it brightens up across the southeast. And even when it's raining for most of the day, temperatures significantly above the average for the time of year getting into the high teens. So quite a warm, humid, muggy feel with a lot of mist and low cloud as well as that heavy rain around. Now, it's really Wednesday night and into Thursday when we'll start to see finally the weather fronts winning out and pushing across the UK, introducing slightly cooler air. So the warmer air gets pushed away, but notice it's not, it's not chilly air. It's just going to be uh, a touchdown after a very warm Wednesday. There's the possibility of this weather front just generating some rain close to the southeast of England. So that's something we need to watch on Thursday. But apart from that, most places looking fine on Thursday. Yes, it's likely to start pretty cloudy across the east. It should brighten up the odd scattered shower developing in the west. But temperatures just dipping down a little bit, but um, still actually quite warm for the time of year. We could still get to close to 20 Celsius across the southeast and I'd say still above the average. Now, by the time we get to Friday, we're looking at low pressure up to the northwest and these weather fronts coming marching in. Notice the isobar spacing out. That means light winds overnight across the south could lead to some foggy conditions on Friday morning. But the isobars closer together across the north and west 
could generate some pretty lively winds and on Friday some very high tides around as well. So if those two things combine, uh, we need to watch out for that. That could generate some coastal flooding, the high tides and the strong winds in the northwest. So that's another thing we need to watch come the end of the week, along with the rain coming in on those weather fronts too. But notice for a good chunk of England and Wales, much of Friday I think will be dry and certainly in the east we should hang on to some sunny spells. Temperatures again a degree or so down compared to Thursday's values, but still for most places above average for the time of year. So it is going to be a warm week. But will it turn increasingly windy? Those weather fronts push in and then we look out in the Atlantic. Areas of low pressure likely to be being developed or intensified by that jet stream we saw earlier picking up out here and powering in. So that's another watch point as we head into the weekend. The potential for some wet and windy spells particularly through the second half of the weekend. So as always, best to keep up to date with the forecast. Do that by following us on social media. If you're watching this on YouTube though, another good way to keep up to date is to hit subscribe.